Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2015 Dodge Charger SRT392 Hemi in bright white on black interior. Uh, so we'll start over at the rear of the vehicle. We'll let you have a look. Uh, I've got the trunk lib up here so we can have a look at the size of the trunk. So nice and big trunk here on a sedan. Uh, it's got a cargo net to uh, hold your items in place. Uh, let's have a look. Um, can't get that up with the net there. So we'll leave that. Um, but as you can see, it's very roomy. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll close the trunk lid. We'll have a look from the back. Uh, so it's got a nice high wing spoiler on the back. It's got the SRT on it. Uh, we've got um, over the top uh, stripes done in re uh, black and red. Go up and over as you can see, looks great. It's got LED tail lights. Uh, we've got a reverse camera here in the uh, trunk lid and we've got reverse parking sensors on the bumper. Uh, so it'll let you know when you're getting close to an item. And then we've got some ground effects added along the bumper as well with the fins. Uh, it's got uh, performance exhaust on it, which sounds phenomenal. And we'll just shift around this side, have a look at the rear wheel. Uh, so it's got nice uh, uh, black finished uh, wheels. Uh, we've got the red Brembo calipers and we've got nice Cooper tires on there. Along the bottom here, it does have side skirts as well. And we'll have a look here at the back door. So it's got a leather insert there with uh, baseball stitching. Uh, you get your power windows and you got a cup holder and storage space in the door. Uh, there's even a trim piece here on the uh, kick plate. Have a look at the condition, looks good. Uh, we've got the mats with the red piping around them. Um, and then for the seats, we've got the leather surround with the Alcantara uh, inserts in the center. So have a look at the condition while I'm here. In the center, uh, we do have the armrest that pulls down, so that's there. And there is uh, storage in the middle as well. And that folds back up. Uh, we've also got rear heated seats and we've got two USB ports and rear HVAC vents as well. So that's great. So we'll go ahead, we'll close this side up. We'll move to the front. Uh, so we've got our power locks, uh, our power windows. Again, that nice leather insert, uh, nice uh, leather wrapped uh, armrest there. Uh, storage space and the cup holder. On the front here, we've got the uh, kick plate with the charger um, logo on it, looks great. And for the passenger seat, we've got power fore aft up down, power recline, and there is power lumbar and side bolster adjustments back there as well. And again, the nice upgraded red uh, piping mats with the Dodge logo in the center. And I'll go ahead and scan up the seat. So you can see it's got the Scat Pack logo there, looks good. And uh, as I get in, just have a look at the, the door frame, nice and clean. And on the dash, we've got the Scat Pack logo. And in here, we've got the wheel lock key and we've got the books as well. And there's extra storage space on the second shelf as well for you. Have a look at the condition of the dash while we're here on this side, looks good. And we'll hop out, we'll close this side up. Oh, before I, I do, just to mention, it does have the Alpine stereo as well. Um, we've got a light built into the mirror and there's also a blind spot monitoring system built into it as well. Um, we've got uh, your quick lock button on the door handle. So as long as you have the key on you, uh, you can just press that button to unlock and lock the car. So we'll start at the back and we'll move along this side of the car so you can see the condition. And here we are at the front. So there's your front wheel. So again, nice high gloss black wheels, Brembo uh, calipers, big brakes, and we've got the nice Cooper tires on there as well. There's your 392 Hemi badging on the front. And we'll just shift around. We'll have a look under the hood. Uh, so under the hood, we've got the V8 6.4 liter naturally aspirated motor, which is paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. Um, and that puts out 485 horsepower. So lots of fun to be had. Uh, very clean as you can see. Uh, we've got a 392 uh, Hemi cover here and powered by SRT on the engine cover as well. Um, there's a catch can here um, to remove uh, any oil blow-by uh, out of the intake, which is great. And we'll go ahead, we'll close the hood. Have a look from the front. So I'll just step back. It's got a nice chin spoiler there on the lower with the, the side winglets. Looks great. And uh, we've got um, the nice headlights. So it's got black housing headlights, projector HID bulbs, and LED daytime running lights. And we've got fog lights down below as well. And it's got the nice hood scoop there and the Scat Pack logo on the front grill. Um, in terms of issues, we'll just have a close look here. Um, there's one little minor mark here. Looks like it's just a piece of vinyl that we can clean up. Um, and on the hood, Let's see, one tiny little stone chip right there. 
Uh, the rest of the painted area looks like it's in really good shape. So yeah, just the one little mark. Um, and we haven't polished the car yet, so we will go ahead and do that. It'll look much better when we're done. Uh, but it is a fantastic car to start. As you can see, we've got tinted uh, side marker lights there as well. And then there's your front wheel. So again, nice high gloss wheels, red Brembo calipers, heavy duty brakes, and nice Cooper tires on there. And same thing back here. And uh, here's a look at the uh, door panel on the driver's rear side. Again, the power windows, you get the leather insert, the storage, and uh, we've got the kick plate here. And just let you have a look from this side. Looks good. So we'll go ahead, we'll close this side up. Uh, we'll move on to the driver's side. Um, so again, we've got that nice Alpine upgraded stereo. We've got uh, two user memory for the seats. Um, we've got uh, our power mirrors here. Uh, they are auto dipping uh, re uh, mirrors. So when you put it in reverse, the mirrors do move down. Um, we've got our power windows, uh, power window lockout in our locks. And uh, again, that nice leather insert storage. And you got your fuel door release here on the door. Here's the kick plate on the driver's side. It's a little bit of minor scuffing, but uh, nothing major. Overall, it's in really good shape. And here's our power seat. So again, power four aft up down, power recline, lumbar and side bolster adjustments. And I'll go ahead and scan up that seat so you can see the condition. Looks good. So as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and clean. And we'll get in, we'll fire this one up. Um, so to start this, uh, it is push button start. We open the uh, Iron Man uh, helmet here and then we'll hit the button. There it is. All right, so in terms of kilometers, we have 67,169, so nice and low, no warning lights or issues there on the dash. Uh, we've got uh, paddle shifters, so nice large paddle shifters uh, up here. And then we've got uh, our arrow keys, which work the dash. Um, so we've got the performance pages, we've got driver assist, uh, fuel economy, uh, trip info, uh, we've got audio controls, messages, uh, screen setup, uh, and speedometer, and then back to uh, vehicle and performance info. Um, over on this side, we've got our trunk release, we've got our dimmer switch, uh, and our interior light control, we've got automatic headlights, and we've got fog lights there as well. Um, you've got a push uh, emergency brake down below, and then over here we, we do have power tilt and telescopic steering column. And then again on this side, there's your uh, push button start with the cover, very neat. Um, this can come off if you don't like it, but uh, I think it's kind of neat. So uh, up top we've got a radio, so you've got AM, FM, Sirius XM, uh, Bluetooth streaming. Uh, we can go over here, uh, so USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth, and SD. Uh, if we go to controls, you've got uh, your mirror control, so auto dimming rear view mirror, heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, if we go over to climate, um, it's off right now, but uh, you can control your climate settings up here. We do have full factory navigation. And then if we put it in reverse, uh, we get uh, our backup camera. And again, uh, it does have auto dipping rear view mirrors, or mirrors. so uh, right now they are dipped. Uh, if I put it back in park, there it is, they pull themselves back up. And then down here we do have sport and super track. Uh, we've got front collision and lane assist, traction control on and off, and parking sensors in the rear. And then some quick controls for the climate. Uh, you've got a 12 volt socket down here uh, and a little pocket storage there. There's your eight speed automatic shifter uh, with manual mode. And it does have two keys with remote start. And then we've got our cup holders with illumination on them as well. Um, and then in here is your uh, auxiliary USB SD card and um, some storage area. Uh, up above, we've got the uh, home control so you can program those buttons for your garage door if you like. Uh, so now we've gone through all of that, we'll hop out and uh, we'll have a look and a listen with it running. What a bark, awesome machine. So I'll just show you from the front with it running. So you can see the headlights. There it is, what a machine. And we'll scan along this side so you can see the condition. There it is. Love the LED tail lights. Looks great with the rear spoiler. What a great sound. Love it. There you have it folks, 2015 Dodge Charger SRT 392 
scat pack here and available at monroemotors.com. Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Look forward to seeing you real soon.